Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the how you can create the measure table to save or keep all the measures at one single place. Also I will show you why it is important that you keep all of your measures uh, at one single place uh, that's something I will show you but along with that I will show you why it is important that you create the measure instead of uh, instead of using the field directly okay so before i move ahead a quick information that uh, what you are seeing right now is the live google sheet and the link of this live google sheet is present in the description that means you can come to this sheet view any of my previously 176 videos for these videos yes i need to update the link but rest other is is uh, updated search any of the video of your interest jump to that video using the link present in column B. So instead of searching in YouTube, which can be cumbersome or tedious task, you can easily search it here. Even if you want, you can create your own playlist and uh, keep it as a bookmark. Also, since it is a live sheet, it will always be most up to date with my new videos that I will be posting. So whenever you need, you can come back and look for the new videos as well. So make sure you bookmark this and uh, utilize the sheet and the knowledge as much as possible. With that, let me go to the Power BI and here I am in the Power BI and we have these multiple tables. So what I will going to do is in over here, if you see, we have created multiple measures. But uh, what I want to do is this, this is basically making the table a little bit cluttered as you can see. So why don't we create a separate table altogether which can keep us or which can keep all of our measures like the sales the profit or anything that we are creating right so how we can do that is actually quite simple so for that i will simply go here and click on the entire enter data and let me just enter some dummy value region and i don't need to enter anything over there and let's call it measures right and just say load once you click on the load the table will be created here so what we have created is just a dummy table over here right so then what you need to do is you can right click and uh, click on new measure so measure is here and we will say total underscore sales and simply we will say sum of sales right and click ok so now the total sales is here. We can now remove this uh, dummy column, delete from model. And you only have, yeah, click OK. You only be left with, you will only be left with the uh, total sales, right? Now the benefit of this is that if let's say you are having the sum of sales in 10 different sheets, for example, let me create one visualization. Over here, let me just say uh, category and let me just use the sales, right? So this sales and this sales will be same, right? But the only difference is that if I am using the only the column but not the measure total sales and if sales is being used in 10 different charts and tomorrow if there is a calculation change that is needed, I have to do that change in all the 10 different locations. However, in case of total sales measure, let's say for example, the calculation changes that we don't want to show the value so long values and we just want to show the value in 1000. So I can simply say divide 1000. I will just come here, say divide 1000. And in everywhere, even if it is present in 100 visualization, all the 100 visualization will be updated just one click that is the reason you should not use the column but the measure here it is just one table but think about a scenario when you have 10 visualization you will have to go in each of this visualization and do the adjustment so that is the beauty of uh, creating a measure and that way you this way you can create the measures in just one single table let me create one more measure over here and say total profit and simply we will save some of profit and you can create as complex as you want 
the best part is that you will have all your measures at one single place but not you know club or cluttered with the existing tables so that's something i wanted to show you how you can create this type of a measure table which i think is a best practice that every power bi developer um, they should they should follow also if measures are becoming way too much and you have the different types of a measure for a different type of settings like customer analytics um, or uh, financial analytics or whatever that analytics is uh, for that you can also create like multiple tables so more better arrangement better output so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic